And we turn now to Washington. President Biden announcing plans to close what gun control advocates call gun show loopholes. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live from the White House with the impact this will have. Ben. Nicole and Calvin, this is a win for more background checks. The White House aims to keep guns away from domestic abusers and felons. Today's new action. For the Biden administration announced Thursday they're closing what is often known as the gun show loophole. It'll expand requirements for those who sell firearms online into gun shows to now conduct a background check on potential buyers. The president and the vice president have spent countless hours with families who have lost loved ones to the senseless violence. And they all say the same thing. Do something. Do something. The commander in chief released a video message online highlighting the impact this move will have. This is going to keep guns out of the hands of domestic abusers and felons. And my administration is going to continue to do everything we possibly can to save lives. The White House says the change in language by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is in accordance with the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, passed in 2022, which marked the most significant gun safety law in nearly three decades. It keeps firearms away from domestic violence offenders and people deemed dangerous. It also toughens background checks for young gun buyers. South Florida Representative Frederica Wilson touted huge news, POTUS closing gun loopholes that have allowed many guns to be sold without background checks. As the new rule comes days before the 25th anniversary of the Columbine High School shooting, which the administration notes was carried out in part with firearms purchased through the gun show loophole. From Buffalo and Kansas City to Uvalde and Monterey Park, we have seen the epidemic of gun violence tearing apart communities nationwide. And again, that new rule is still being finalized at this hour. It will go into effect in about 30 days. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.